Hamilton. So I'm Jocelyn Hamill. I'm the Executive Director of Mount Pleasant Neighbourhood House. And Marie Slater. I was elected as a lead artist on the Mount Pleasant Mural Project and I'm collaborating with another artist. Uh, James Harry. Both my parents um, are artists. My mom's a painter and my father is a carver and a painter. Been, um, working with um, a project called Weaving Policy People in Place Together We're, and part of our focus has been really trying to engage people in this part of Mount Pleasant. Broadway East is actually an area that is slated on the community plan as a place that's needing revitalization. Over a couple of workshops we started to prioritize ideas um, we narrowed it down to about five, and the mural project is one of them. Really, in, through our process, has brought together partners like the Broadway Youth Resource Center, uh, Vancouver Native Housing, Mount Pleasant Neighborhood House, as the agencies, and several community members. Water and different cultures, and that were, those were the two overriding themes that were given to the project. MPM, it's Tongue Twister, Mount Pleasant Murals. Uh, it was a public um, art idea of combating graffiti and then getting a sense of the neighbourhood through public art. James and I did workshops in the house beyond what I was doing out in the field, um, in the house with all the different groups that we could uh, manage to book a session with. Children and youth and inviting all cultures in to participate and give their own kind of abstract design and, and just basically their knowledge about their culture. And whatever it is that they brought towards us, we would add towards the mural. Like how that would work together compositionally, how, how there's movement and fluidity and taking, taking some of those abstract forms and the ones that work together were the ones that were ultimately ended up being put, put up on the wall. Two or three different artists came by and lended a hand one of which was from a um, fabric store on the Kingsgate Mall. She works in a fabric store uh, in the neighborhood and I had gone there and taken some photographs and that's uh, what lent to the, to the idea of using patterns. So we would have the youth come in and paint for a few hours at a time and then they would clean up and then they would go back. But we tried to keep them involved with the process as much as we could. So it was like trying to keep it directed through the Mount Pleasant neighborhood house, but also allowing people on the side of the street to be able to come in and engage with it as well. So uh, I think that was a really um, su successful part of uh, bringing people together because, you know, they could just stand beside each other. I remember I was just standing back and watching these kids paint and they're just, you know, they're just so into the zone of painting. So it's just been really kind of uh, interesting to me to have this collaborative process with um, other people, not just children, but uh, seniors, people from uh, different ethnicities, and um, you know, just having people come together because that's kind of what art does. I love working on community projects because I get to hear different people's life stories, um, their ideas about community, how they live in their neighborhood, how each neighborhood operates differently. It gives um, people a chance to celebrate where they live and to celebrate different cultures that sometimes are represented in street art. What does community mean to me? Community art and community is a place where people open up, they start to feel comfortable with each other. That it's a place-based um, uh, group of people who come together. Sometimes they have differences, sometimes they have commonalities. And you meet new friends, you meet new people. Community means that we come together as, as one. The mural project is really looking at an intergenerational um, element, so we're, we're finding workshops or creating opportunities for people of all ages to participate, from the very little to the, the seniors themselves. And, and then at the end of the day, what they'll see is a piece of art that's on our walls in our community, and they'll be able to see that and recognize that they had a small part in that. Even if it was just an idea or a word, or perhaps they really were, spent three weeks painting this, this uh, beautiful mural, they will have a connection. And that to me is a, a place-making kind of an activity that builds community and builds neighborhood connections.